I think uh, it's long overdue that uh, uh, President Daka in the most to status. Uh, first of all, the abuse that the police uh, personnel have endured for the past five years due to the demand of root lining, um, sometimes more than twice a day, uh, several times a day. But beyond that, the cost that is associated to have a president move every day between three kilometers, I mean 12 kilometers, from his residence to state house. Because obviously, other than just route lining of uniformed uh, police officers, you have to have to plan calls, you have to have vehicles that are mobile to make sure that the head of state is secure. But beyond that, the cost associated with that exercise that is conducted you know, more than once a day, you know, is unbearable. Beyond that, the cost that obviously the government has incurred to try and make his private residence, you know, habitable for a head of state, that in itself is an abuse of public resource, an abuse of somebody's authority or office. But over and above that, Ms. Hakainde has always you know, preached and said that he is a villager from Wengwa and is a public servant. What is it that, uh, even if Mr. Uh, you know, you know, President Edgar Chagalungu's uh, standards were so low and Ms. Akainde is uh, luxury driven, what is it that they needed to do instead of that has taken over five months for him to remain in that particular area? Now the schools have opened. The community there is also inconvenienced. People have to find alternative routes to take their children to school or indeed to go for work. Because when the roads are blocked, everybody is blocked. Let him not take these things lightly. That is inconveniencing citizens. He is expected to get into state house so that as he conducts his business locally, the police officers have other responsibilities they can undertake to make sure that our society remains peaceful and the lawbreakers are brought to book. Now, instead, the police are under pressure through and through over trivial issues. Today we are at the police because people are at the press briefing. This is really misplaced priorities. He must move to state house. It's a demand because he's a public servant. He is now a state property. He's not a private citizen. And as a citizen, just like many other citizens who are inconvenienced, including the police, we are demanding he should move to state house.